And uh, so let's talk about how you got started on this. Uh, we talked a little bit off air about your background because uh, you, you have to have some sort of technical ability to yeah. put this thing together. Um, but were you a fan of the movie Short Circuit? Like, how did the idea come about? Yeah, funny thing is, it had nothing to do with the movie. <laughs> because a lot of people are like, hey, are you just like really into those movies and everything? And, and you know, the movies were okay, right? I yeah, mean, yeah. They, you watch them now, they're not great. They're not like super great. They're just, cl- they're kind of classics. Yeah. But, you know, there's a, there's a niche. Right. You mm-hmm. know? Um, but for me, it's about robotics. I've always wanted to get into robotics. I, um, I, I, I grew up in radio, so that was kind of my first thing. And, and when I was in radio, I did a lot of the engineering activities for the station. So my grandfather was very technical. So that's kind of where I get my aptitude. Um, but, and then I moved into, um, you know, I kind of moved into telecom and some other things. So I never really got into robotics. So I was like, you know, I really love to just tinker around and, and do that kind of stuff. And I didn't want to do like, and nothing against the R2 builders out there, right? But I just didn't want to do like an R2-D2. Yeah, Everybody's everybody does it. One, yeah. Right? So I, I really wanted to do something that was just obscure. <laughs> like nobody's really done yet. And so I came across about seven or eight years ago, a group called Input Inc. It's input-inc.com. It's a group of builders that basically dedicated to reviving the Johnny Five robot. And what they did was, is they, about 20 years ago, this guy named Terry Anders Jr. went out to uh, see Eric Allard, who actually built the robots for the movie. Um, They built like 10 or 15 of these things, like in about three or four months for millions of dollars. And so Eric still had one from the movie at the time. And so Terry went out there. He completely tore it all the way down, took pictures. So think of like a, a crime scene where you're, you're <laughs> yeah. taking a ruler and you're, you, you know, you're putting it on a part and you're taking a photo, right? Right. So it started from that and it kind of took about, about 20 years so far. I mean, it probably would say in the last four or five years, it got to be where one could actually be built, but they've been trying to take all that and put it into a CAD so people can actually replicate it. And so... My replica is a one-to-one exact replica of the movie Robot. Wow. Um, obviously, with updates to some of the f- mechanics and some of the electrical and the controlling and all that, right? It's not 1985 technology. Right, mm-hmm. right. Yeah, but I didn't have like this real affinity from the movie. It was really more of just a robotic side. But as I built him, uh, I got to where I started really appreciating the character. So it's a childlike mm-hmm. character. Yeah. It, you know, in the first movie, he grows up. He's he becomes self aware. He grows up and um, very innocent. And then the second movie, you know, he becomes kind of a teenager and he's trying to figure out like the world is is not the perfect place he thought it was. And he's you know, so I I've kind of like you know the electronic side I really enjoy, but the part I'm really enjoying now is seeing <laughs> kids' faces when I go out. Yeah. You know, seeing kids really light up when they see this. You know, six foot. He 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 probably can go to about seven foot on his on his tippy toes. He can do the tiptoe thing like in the movie. Wow! So that's crazy. Yeah, yeah he gets really tall and uh, very well balanced, by the way. And uh, kids just just light up. I mean, they just well. There's two responses. One, they're terrified, or they light up. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but then they hear it talk to them. Yeah, and stuff, they probably what, ease up to it. What blows their mind away is when they say their name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, you know, he he has um, AI. So he has chat GTP and he has a clone voice of the actor Tim Blaney, which, by the way, is a great guy. Met him at the Comic-Con. Um, very, very much supportive of, of my build and everything. And um, he, he just, when they say their name, they just can't believe it. Yeah. They're just, you know.